Welcome to Asia, otherwise known as Sydney. Humidity at the moment is nuts. Okay, so what we're at today, I was kind of toying with the idea of including this in, in the last vlog about endurance, but what I kind of want to do is, I'm going to do a little bit of racing this weekend, just some local club stuff. And I kind of thought it would be interesting to see how what was effectively just a week of flapping about riding a bit of endurance plays out on a weekend race. Because I reckon a lot of you guys are a bit like me in the sense, you know, you ride around with your mates training a bit during the week and then, you know, on the weekend you might have a little race day, put a number on, do a club race. So, we're going to do two, well, we're definitely going to do one race because I'm on the way there, we might do another. First one up. come out to Eastern Creek. So for those of you who don't live in Sydney or don't know this course very well, it's basically motor racing track. That's Hello, are we going left here? Morning. Daniel Vanderland makes me race A grade against these guys. Mate, it's a bit unfair. You got me beaten, don't worry about that. Oh yeah, shout out to Mr. Vanderland. Is he skiing? And your, your alleged back injury. <laughs> alleged. Who's now in Colorado skiing. That's us, gotta go. Them to the line, please. Okay, off you go guys, enjoy. What do you reckon, boys? 93% humidity. Yeah. I just yeah. checked. Can we list any other excuses? So Dan said that these races out here are quite easy. All oh, right. He told me that I should be dominating. Okay. I'll just give you a brutal, honest assessment of that. Um, I'll last 20 minutes. I came out here to test my legs. I thought, you know, maybe sit in and just see how it all feels and maybe factor and help Simon out at the end. I barely lasted 20 minutes. Uh, I was almost dropped literally from the gun. Um, knee just felt sore and soggy. Like not painful, but just this bizarre soggy feeling in it. I may have just been piped in my first ever Eastern Creek race. Everyone was just in the coolest mood out here. Wow, pumped, out the back door, hey? Well, I'm not that disappointed, I'm pissed off I didn't manage to help Simon out more because like, he probably would have done really well in a sprint there, but that's the only bit I'm pissed off about. Um, just quickly, I, I didn't end up staying to the end, unfortunately. My knee's sort of really puffing up a bit, so I wanted to get home to put some ice on it. My bet for that win is Jack Bennett. There you go, you better win, Jack. How many legs does a snail have? How many legs does a snail have? It's really, really easy to panic after a race like that. And Elizabeth can probably attest to the fact that, I mean, I didn't panic, but I panicked. panicked. This is where a coach can help. Stop bending the camera. <laughs> okay, so you want some science-based reasons about why you got dropped. Basically, you just haven't been riding your bike enough. After the crash, your training took a big dive. You had two weeks off the bike, then went straight into nationals, then another week and a half or so off the bike. Um, and then all you've really done since the crash is um, a bunch of base, base miles down in the TDU. So really it's just you're not crit fit. And that's fine, like people need an off season. Um, if you carried on the training through 
through nationals, kept going straight after that with all the really high intensity stuff. That's when you kind of hit those burnout moments. You might be overtraining a little bit. So having a bit of time off, that's fine. It's kind of the way the Australian season works. There's a whole bunch of crits, then you go straight into the road season. You basically don't get a break like you do, uh, say, in Europe. In terms of the race itself, um, it was actually something that you nor we'd normally expect you to get through. Um, so it really was just that. It wasn't a particularly hard race. Everyone else in the field hasn't got suddenly way better than you. It's really just that you're just not quite on the form that you normally are. So with that in mind, what's the definition of stupidity again? So, now you're probably laughing at me. Here he goes, we'll cut to a few hours time and he's off the back again. But look, you know, that all made a heap of sense to me. Let's have a rip. Well, we just one to him in the last lap because I didn't really want to be coming to the line with him. He's on a pretty rapid rate of progression at the moment. Let's see what we got in here. Bit of, bit of breakfast money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. What a difference a day makes. Okay, didn't ride away from the field, but. A can of toughen up and some teammates because here's the thing I, I don't do that race today. If it wasn't for the fact a few mates were going to race it, and I reckon that, you know, whilst I'm not flying by any stretch of the imagination, I reckon I could have been a bit of a help. I set out to do a video about how riding some endurance during the week could play out on the weekend racing, because I kind of thought that was a pretty common style of riding for the, the weekend warrior. That's why we're called weekend warriors. And it ended up somewhere else because really hard to start taking a broad look at your own riding and training because we're kind of so week to week to week. You only look at the last few days or week as you're training. So here I am saying, well, let's see how a week of endurance affects my training, my racing on the weekend. Well, that's useless because it's it's all the stuff that preceded that, as Danny said. And so th this for me is like where the coach benefit is because it, it's that sounding board. It's, you know, the, as cyclists, you know, we, we all we ever seem to do is question our own ability. And even when we're doing well off the front of a race, you're there questioning the fact that you should be there. So having that sounding board for me is, is the massive kind of benefit. And the other part that came out of all this is just the mental side of it. I mean, perfect example. There is a Saturday and a Sunday race, almost exactly the same difficulty. And yet mentally I went in on the Saturday with the attitude of, oh, I'm just gonna turtle around, not sure how the knee feels, just gonna see how it goes. Sit in and just see how it all feels. Piped. On the Sunday I went in, okay, Danny says just toughen up, get out there and do it. You're not gonna do yourself any harm. Let's have a rip. You know, it's great having the sounding board to give you that little bit of advice, but it's also so much of this comes from within and your own self-belief. We'll keep an eye on this the next couple of weeks and months. Look, I'm not out to be the world's greatest crit rider or racer, as you know, but there's the state crit championships in about a month or two, and I'd, again, like to be some use to the guys, and plus, it's fun. I like crit racing, you know. I've just been super disappointed with the performance of all of these action cams the last couple of weeks. The Edelong loop, that slow-mo stuff, that was the GoPro Hero 6. The Saturday race at Eastern Creek, that was the Shimano Sports Cam. 
and Sunday's race was the Sony Action Cam. They're all good, they're all great, but nothing does everything really well. Like, so the GoPro, which does that beautiful, super high frame rate stuff, it's a pain to sync data to it. That's why you rarely see me doing that. The Shimano Cam mounts so easily and brilliantly to the bike. Just the quality just isn't quite there. And, and the software that the, they use to actually put the data on there, which makes it quite easy, is a bit crap. And when you're trying to use a different piece of software, it's not that easy. And then the Sony Cam, which is the easiest to sync data, Heffron just kills it. The image stabilization is pretty much destroyed and it's slightly awkward to mount. I'm gonna keep playing with them. I really wanna get the data on there because I reckon that's the most value add from you guys and, and it makes a bit of reference for what we're talking about a lot of the time, so. But in the meantime, see you later in the week and subscribe to the channel. That'd be cool.